So here we have a, a 2015 Defender 110 XS Utility. It's got uh, 59,000, just under 59,200 miles on the clock. It's finished in Santorini black and it's got boost alloys, uh, black checker plate uh, fitted from factory and um, cross-continental contact tyres. It's got full service history. It's fully under sealed, full stainless steel um, bolt pack, brand new clutch, brand new MT82 output shaft, brand new rear drive shafts. So it drives like a dream. Uh, it's also got the uh, black Alcantara roof lining and the half leather XS interior, including air conditioning, electric windows, and um, heated front and rear screens. Um, as you can see, it's in really, really lovely nick. We've spent our usual amount of time going over this one. Uh, it's amazing how much time you can spend getting these things right. Um, but I think you'll agree that it looks absolutely stunning. Um, just quickly before we go any further, this hasn't been to the body shop yet. For the simple reason my poor body shop guy was pinged uh, in this pandemic thing. So he, he's isolating for um, 10 days. So there's a couple of points that haven't been attended to yet. Windscreen surround. Uh, and uh, areas where the roof rack, there was a roof rack the previous owner had fitted, um, need need attending to. Nothing structural, just standard uh, Defender bits. So I'll show you. Um, these window blocks will be painted Santorini black. Window comes out and this whole window frame will be painted. We, like, we don't like this corrosion here. It's very standard, please don't panic about that. And there as well, you can see. Uh, we do it to every single Defender. Um, just normally it's done before we do the video, but just nice for you to see it. Um, it's a simple job, time consuming, but worth doing. Uh, this has also got, well, we, we put on the Santorini black um, headlight surrounds and grill. We've also changed the badging for black and silver. Just, just gives it an ad added little bit of coolness, doesn't it? Um, we've also done the lettering in black, which I think really um, sets off the front. Um, we've upgraded the headlights to the y pack. Uh, crystals. We, we, we've kept everything halogen. I think there's some new thing with their uh, MOT test that LED ones are uh, illegal. I also think they look uh, a bit weird. Um, so these are as good as they come in my book. Uh, they're the uprated bulbs and sort of nice stainless fixings all around. You can see under here we've changed all the stainless fixings and this grill at the bottom has also been sorted. Please excuse these front dumb irons on, on the bottom of the chassis. Um, haven't been finished with all the under sealing as yet. Um, it had black factory um, a checker plate on for the factory. It was faded and it's really bad quality, the stuff. So we've replaced it with really high quality uh, checker plate from um, Patriot Products uh, and that's on the top and along the sides. Um, here you can see the bolts that we changed. These, these are uh, fitted, we take out the old ones, fit the new ones, and we coat the whole sort of backside with ACF 50. And we also inject the cross member with a Dinatrol product to um, ensure that the, the bulkhead doesn't rot. Um, you can see here that this window block isn't painted yet either. That will be painted, as will this whole window comes out, as will this whole top area here. Um, so, new side steps. I don't know if you can catch a glimpse back there. Let's see if we can get in. The chassis it is unbelievable on this one. I mean, it's still a good solid day's work. It's a good sort of 12 hours to get this done properly over a few days, um, but it just looks so nice when it's done. Uh, we also go up and do the wheel arch and stuff like that. There's still a few more areas to go over again, but we had a break in the weather, so I'm sorry I had to come away and get the photos done. Um, for those of you that don't know, these pot rivets here are meant to be unpainted going down the side there. Always look for that and always look for these um, bumps along the body here. That's where the uh, the wheel arch is spot welded to this rear panel. So uh, to the back end, uh, this is a genuine Land Rover uh, NAS rear step. Now it had its usual slight bits of corrosion on, 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 the, on the edges here. So it's really good under here. Absolutely perfect, for the simple reason that we took it back, stripped it down, uh, shot blasted it, and it's been fully repowder coated and treated inside. So it should last for a very long time. Um, new uh, rear mud flap brackets there, and you can see we've even put um, 
stainless steel hangers on. Don't worry, they're not weak. They're up to the same grade as the steel ones. Just they just don't rust and look horrible. Uh, all the new bracketry as well for the um, cross member has been um, up updated and um, rust proofed. Um, we've even painted the little rubber bungs there. But th these mud flap brackets are great. Stainless steel, they'll never break. Uh, they're much stronger. Um, so you'll never see that horrible uh, rusty uh, rear cross uh, rear mud flap bracket. Again, uh, black badge there with black lettering. It just makes it look kind of good, doesn't it? it makes it look smart. Um, your tow bars even stainless. It's all about making it look fresh. Uh, now, this was bought from Land Rover. This car by the previous owner. They had painted the rear cross member, but in their wisdom, they hadn't actually sanded it down. They just painted over rust. So. Um, we sanded it down. I know why they don't do it. They've got, they don't have the time. It took us, you know, an hour and a half, two hours to sand it back to bare metal. Uh, and then we treat it and uh, we get that finish there. And it's got, I mean, I think that's eight or nine layers of the best rust proofing paint you can possibly get. Um, you might notice this capping here is to be repainted too. There was a roof rack and you can see it just clips on there. This is all going to be sorted. You will never know that was was there. Um, this whole gutter is going to be painted around the whole car. It's just, the, the Land Rover design is not great. It just rubs on the um, the roof rack brackets. But it's just, I thought I'd show it to you. It'll all be gone uh, very shortly when uh, this uh, pandemic is over. Um, exhaust all polished out there. Brand new cross continental tyres all round. Um, it makes a huge difference. Uh, very slight mark there we just came across. That'll polish out, so we're going to get that polished out perfectly. Again, just showing you stuff that we're going to do on this car. And it's got a full service history, um, and more, more recently had a massive amount of work done at Land Rover post sale because it just wasn't po it wasn't ready for sale. The clutch was rattling. There was awful slop from the rear wheel, so there's uprated drive shafts there. Brand new clutch from Land Rover. A huge amount of work was done, um, but yeah, as you can see inside. It's absolutely immaculate. So, so smart. Um, seats are lovely, no rips or tears here. It's got the usual corner protectors. Um, even underneath, look at that, it's just lovely. Um, we have fitted brand new rubber mats throughout. At great expense, I think it's about 300 quid's worth of rubber mats, but it's worth it. Just, just The whole place smells new now. Um, and I think if we just go in here, you can pan up and see the uh, suede Alcantara roof lining. Really, really smart. Uh, quickly dive down this way. Um, oops, sorry. So there you have the uh, Alpine stereo. Um, here, electric windows, AC, heated seats, and heat, heated front screen. And also, because it's a 2015, it's got the switchable traction control button there. Uh, Bluetooth, all the usual bits and pieces. A truly, truly immaculate example. It's a really, really lovely one. Into the back. Rear seats are good. Sorry, there was a slight mark on the seat there that I haven't washed up. It's just a bit of mud from when I was actually washing uh, inside the vehicle. But lovely, lovely seats. Uh, and new mat down here. Uh, good old Land Rover. You'll see here, this is... If you look at any car post-2013, there's always a slight white patch in the paint. There, obviously didn't really bother to reach in to paint those bits properly. Uh, unbelievable, but that's how it came from the factory. Good old Land Rover. Um, and then if we open the back up here, we can see we've done the usual soundproofing on these side panels here and on the back. And we put the, uh, the rubberized checker plate all across the floor here, which means that you don't have anything sliding around and scratching the floor. Um, it's just a really, really, you can see here, this, this item just doesn't, doesn't want to move anywhere. So really, really good. Um, this rear tread plate is painted in black. Doors all good. We've replaced a couple of hinges on that rear door. It's amazing how many hinges on these go. So let's just run over what this car is. It's a um, Santorini Black 110 XS Utility. It's had its full running gear updated by Land Rover. When I say that, I mean rear cross, uh, rear drive shafts, 
clutch and MT82 output shaft, known weak points on these things, and they've all been done by Land Rover. Um, it will come fully serviced from us and we will go over everything. I have a feeling we'll need to change a couple of bushes on it and do a full oil service. I always change all axle oils and uh, gearbox oils on these. We've had um, a full stainless steel bolt kit. The windscreen surrounds going to be painted. Uh, the window blocks going to be painted. The roof gutter is going to be painted just to make sure that it looks absolutely perfect. Slight scratch on this wing going to be buffed out. It will look superb. Um, the detailing on this, I, I, I reckon that yeah, there's were definitely a solid week's work on this. The underseeling alone uh, is just worth doing. The chassis was in superb condition. I don't know why we do it, but our whole point is about preservation of these vehicles and making them as best as they can be but without ruining the look of them. We don't want to start chucking silly plastic grills and big wheels on them. This, this, is, this is what they should be and this is how they look best. Uh, it's got brand new uh, grill pack on the front, brand new lettering brand new checker plate, brand new tyres, brand new uh, side steps uh, and also the side steps have been um, been treated inside as well so uh, hopefully they'll last a bit longer than they than the old ones did. Um, new badges, black and silver badges, god they're expensive, they're about 30 quid each. Um, new bolts throughout, um, stripped the rear cross member and sealed and I, I would expect not to see rust on that for another 10 years um, and the NAS rear step has been totally stripped back to bare metal uh, and then refitted after being powder coated by ANC shot blasting in Newbury um, fitted with stainless steel items all in all perfect car drives like a dream some of these feel a bit rattly you know the trim and stuff rattles this one feels so tight and lovely it's it's a it's a joy to drive um please come and uh, have a look at it uh, also a 12 month mot will be put on it and we'll also put a six month warranty which covers pretty much everything on one of these but we um will attempt uh to make sure that nothing mechanical is left unturned if there is anything needed we will sort it out give us a give us a call come have a drive cheers bye